Hey y'all, Adam, HookandClaw.com. Good to see you today. We got a good video today showing you the tools you're gonna need to skin your bass to get ready for taxidermy. And um, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe to our videos. We got plenty of videos from start to finish on how to mount your bass. And um, so go ahead and subscribe, throw in some questions in the comments if um, you wanna do that. And um, go check our website out, HookandClaw.com. Got a lot of info on there to get you started and help you out on your way. All right, let's get started. All right, <clears throat> we got our bass laying here. And basically, um, the first step for mounting is skinning it. And you're gonna need these certain tools to skin it. When we're done with this bass, <clears throat> nothing's gonna be left except the skin. And uh, so we gotta get all the blood, guts, all the nasty stuff out the fish. Well, these tools are gonna get all that done. And there's nothing fancy about these tools. And uh, basically, you might already have some at your house. You won't even have to get any. But we do have links below to order these off Amazon if you need them. Affiliate links. All right. The first tool right here is called a cheeker or a modeling tool. Basically, it's square on one side and round on the other. You get these in tight and hard to get places in the fish like the eyes, the cheeks. You got to get all that fat out. And uh, that modeling tool gets down in that eye socket and and gets it out pretty easily. And uh, it's a very good tool. I don't know how many I go through because I'm heavy handed and I tend to break the edge off. And uh, but anyway, the next tool is going called a scraper. Basically, this is does what it says. It scrapes. You're scraping the meat and fat on the inside of the fish away and uh, to dispose of. Like I said, you gotta get everything out that fish except the skin. The next thing is a fleshing knife. Now, it's serrated, it's not sharp, and uh, basically it goes on the inside of the skin and separates this meat from the skin, and um, very helpful. Then be probably your most used tool is this fleshing knife. And um, not sharp enough so it won't cut you in but it won't cut through the skin either. That's the most important thing. Next tool you're gonna need is a scalpel. <clears throat> Very dangerous, so please, people, be careful with this. You can easily cut a finger off. The blade on the scalpel is a number 22. You can see it right here. There's um, the size of the blade's 22. For me, it, it's a bigger blade it's a little bit easier to work with. Some people like smaller blades, but me personally, in my um, uh, in my experience, the scalpel number twenty-two blade is a little bit easier. What you're gonna do with the scalpel? You're only gonna make one cut with this, from the base of the tail all the way up middle of the bass to the gill plate. That's the only part you're gonna use for the scalpel. And um, anyway, the next tool is a set of tweezers. Um, you're not going to use them much, but there's going to be some, uh, like for the eyes and, um, any little piece of meat that you have trouble getting with the knife or the scraper, uh, the tweezers, get on in there and get it out and make it a whole lot easier, but just a simple set of tweezers. But the next thing is a good pair of scissors. Me personally, I like these taxidermy scissors. They're heavy duty. Uh, they're short and um, so you can get in those tight areas where you need to cut and peel away that fat and meat and uh, got metal handles on it so it's hard to slip and basically with the scissors you're going to be cutting away any kind of fat and meat uh, kind of like big chunks to go ahead and make it go by a little faster um, and the last item we're going to use these snips now you can use Snip, any kind of snips you can find. <clears throat> Mainly the snips are for these fins where they go into the fish, they're, they're hard bones. And you're gonna use those snips to clip those bones to free up the skin on the top and the bottom right here. There's, there's bones right here. And you're gonna need those snips. Now, also, you're gonna need the snips to cut the gill plate it's very hard it's, it's hard bone right there you're going to need snips for that 
But basically, <clears throat> these are all the tools you're going to need. Uh, so, not very advanced tools. You know, everything combined, you're looking at maybe 40 bucks if you don't already have any. And um, you'll get some good use out of them. And um, they'll get dirty, but remember to clean them after you get done. You don't want them to, um, to rust or anything. And the main thing, be careful with this scalpel. I've seen a lot of people cut their fingers and you have to get stitches and people don't realize just how sharp they are. But anyway, that's about it. And uh, the next video we're going to have, we're going to be skinning this fish. And so we're going to get down and dirty and show you how to do that. But otherwise, uh, that's about it. I appreciate it for watching. And if you like it, uh, the video, go ahead and push like if you want to. And uh, comment if you got any questions. And uh, But... I'm ready to skin this thing, and if you want to go check out our website, hookandclaw.com, we got a whole bunch of material there to help you along the way, and basically it's from catching a fish to mounting it all yourself at home, and uh, we're going to have a fun time doing it, and uh, we're really looking forward to it, and uh, we want to appreciate taking the time to watch this, and to share the video, get it out to more people who might be willing to uh, give it a try and uh, they might enjoy it and like it and it's something to do and uh, we'll have a good time and uh, you can make a little extra money on the side and anyway well thanks for watching this video it's adam from hookandclaw.com and like always have a great day